Uh, Sparta, because he has his bets are crazy. Uh, Sparta Prague plus one fifty hosting Galatasaray at plus one sixty five. I dogged Galatasaray all the way through Champions League, but I'm now starting to think that they're more than dangerous in this type of company. I think it's a step down. If there was a racehorse running in Group 1s, they're now running in Group 3s. Uh, they're not quite good enough for Group 1s, but because they score goals, they're going to be uh, a tough uh, a tough nut for uh, most teams. Still don't trust them to win, but I trust them to score goals. Uh, plus 117, Galatasaray to uh, score twice. I suppose after the first leg, which was 3-2 for a late, late winner, the over 2.75 at minus 115 stinch is probably the way to go. Do both sides score twice again because Galatasaray not keeping no clean sheet? Flash, can you believe that the goal line is 2.75? No. Like, I'm, I thought it was 3.25. Yeah, I mean, at least three. And, and it's 50-50. I mean, yeah, okay, maybe 2.75 and what, it's minus 130 for overs or something. Can't believe, can't believe the goal line here. Just, just on the on the money line. What was really interesting last week, because obviously Sparta Prague have, uh, unlike Galatasaray, obviously been on a, a winter break. Uh, I mentioned last week in Turkey they play on they play on Christmas Day, of, uh, so they they don't stop over there. Um, Turkish Cup as well in January. So Galatasaray have been very busy, but uh, it was really interesting that uh, when we spoke, uh, which is quite good as well, because we're speaking uh, what two days before the games. Uh, which is a really good time to take advantage of any uh, moves, bef uh, any price moves, uh, because Galatasaray there were minus 120, and they went off nearly minus 200. So there's a big, big move on uh, Galatasaray to win, and that's that's more than reflected here in the money line, and and like that's that's with the fact that Galatasaray don't need to win. You know, they could they could they'll, a draw would see them go through. You know, with a three to advantage. So I wouldn't I wouldn't be backing Galatasaray on the money line. Um, yes, of course, they can go there and win. Absolutely no problem with that. I'm just saying that with the, the state of the tie, I don't necessarily expect them to go out and attack. But yeah, really easy bet here. Over 2.75 goals. Absolute no-brainer. Five goals last week. Uh, I mentioned that I, um, that I was really... Um, that was the best bet last week was both teams to score. Obviously, that, that cruised in. Um, but yeah, I love Galatasaray matches just because they can concede against anybody. And we know they've got nearly two players for every position going forward. So with the five subs, if they're not doing very well, yep, hook off Zaha, bring on Dries Mertens. He's not even getting a game, him. Yeah, that's what I mean. They've got so much. They've got so much uh, strength and depth in that forward yeah. area. I mean, their, their wage budget must be enormous. Um, but yeah, it's such, such an, an easy bet. Here. The first leg had 26 shots, 11 on target. There's five big chances and obviously five goals. And, yeah, I could easily, you know, because Galatasaray don't really know another way to play, they could easily win this 3-0. Like you mentioned with, with, with Roma there, this is certainly a game where you, you, you're you not bothered who who um, contributes because one side could score all three themselves. So I, I don't see this playing out as tight and cagey and Galatasaray are trying to hold on to their 3-2 lead. I think this will play out um, as the first leg finish, basically. Basketball game, end-to-end. And, yeah, I'll be surprised if we don't see at least three goals, which would give us half a winner. What was the score, Galatasaray, on the road to Man United in the group stages? Uh, uh, at, the at Old Trafford. They won, I didn't they? Uh, they don't win 3-2. Yeah, it's 3-2 Galatasaray. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and then you, you think know they go they to like Sparta about, Prague and not scoring twice? Yeah, I mean, like back, back the correct score, 3-2 again. This is what I'm saying. Uh, Oris has got it right. I, would say I don't care. Oris <laughs> has got it right. And Stinch has got it right. And I think we're all going to have it right. That Galatasaray, both teams are scoring over. And I fancy I don't care whether Galatasaray win 2-1, lose 4-2. It's both teams yeah, the, scoring over. Galatasaray the only thing with both, Sorry, the only thing with both teams scoring over, it only went from minus 115 to minus 110. So that's why I stuck with the 2.75 in case yeah, you get yeah, one yeah, of the sides could win 3 0. Yeah. Yeah. Totally yeah, but, get that. But if you get only three goals, it's in a 2 1. Yes, a half win. Half, half Risk win. versus yeah. reward, Alex. I would go with whatever you consistently do. So you're obviously a both teams scoring over backer, so I'd take that. I'm, and I'm more Stinch of a is an take account. The goal line. 
<laughs> no, no, no. I, a, a lot but of both times bets I, are good. Both bets are good. That's no, what but we'll... I, I, tot I totally like uh, this approach with over 2.75. A, a lot of times I'm taking the overs instead of the both team to score. And now, uh, lately, I like one team to win and both teams to score. This is uh, another profitable market, in my opinion. Uh, but uh, Galatasaray are a very reactive uh, team. In two free passes, from the time that they win the ball, they arrive to the to the opposition uh, uh, half in, in, inside the box and they score. They are very uh, pacey. They are great going forward. And Sparta Praga will have to 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 uh, to go to enter this match all guns blazing, you know, because uh, uh, they lost uh, the first leg. So it's on them right now to score and to win. Plays into Galatasaray's and hands. And... The only problem here, and I really like, uh, and is one of my favorite best Galatasaray to score. Uh, two goals on their own at plus 117. The only problem here, I hope that I don't see a FC Copenhagen against Galatasaray from the Champions League group stages, mm. where uh, if they were winning that match, they would be uh, in the Champions League uh, knockout stages. And they lost 1-0. And, lo and they missed so many opportunities. This is uh, the, the problem sometimes. Yeah, if, if you're consistent on creating uh, uh, goals, it was probably... One in 30, you know, uh, to happen uh, something like that. But uh, Sparta Praga cannot defend like uh, Copenhagen. Sparta no. Praga is not Copenhagen. Uh, Galatasaray. Uh, I was, I, I, I want, I was wondering uh, during the weekend because you uh, talked about uh, that uh, game against Ankara Gucci, uh Why the hell they uh, didn't uh, rest uh, some of the key players? Why Icardi was playing? Why Demir Bay was playing? Uh, why uh, a lot of them... Because Fenerbahce are pushing them all the way in, in the Superliga. I mean, and, it's uh, unbelievable. Such a consistent player, uh, Demir Bay, coming from Leverkusen uh, and very, very good. Uh, Dangerous in, uh, from set pieces as well. Davison yeah. Sanchez getting up there. Uh, listen, listen. Um, listen and Gallagher, Icardi yes. is in his prime. Icardi, yeah. what, what is happening with him? Well, again, um, don't get me on Icardi, right? Don't get me. He can do so much more. He's very, very liberal in his movement. Uh, so, yeah, so basically, uh, Sparta Prague are no Man United. Sparta Prague are no uh, Copenhagen. And Copenhagen are no Copenhagen, as, uh, <laughs> as Alex would call them. Let's have a little look at the official picks because it's goals galore right across the board over 2.75 at minus 115 for myself and for Alex we are coming we're like the ball with two horns this one's Alex and this one's me we're both going for two goals for Galatasaray Galatasaray team total over one and a half plus 117 okay